Hi, this is Raul from Neverblower Homestead. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built this beehive. This is a honey keeper beehive, which I bought off Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's not the best beehive, but it's also not the worst. The wood quality was a little, it was decent, just not great. I had a little bit of splintering when I was putting the hive together that I'd rather not have had. Um, but it's definitely a decent hive. I've seen other YouTubers use it. So I would recommend you, if you're starting um, like I am, uh, this is a good one to start with. It's relatively inexpensive compared to others. Right, with that said, let's dive in and look at how I did this. This evening I'm going to be um, painting some wood preserver onto my beehive before I assemble it. I'm using a natural eco-friendly uh, preserver from TallEarth.com. It is supposed to be all natural, free of any toxins, and in particular they market it as bee safe, which is why I bought it. Um, you can find it on Amazon, you can also find it on their site TallEarth.com if you're interested. Um, I think it's about $18 for a packet. That packet makes a gallon of the uh, wood preserver and that wood preserver, a gallon of the wood preserver c covers about 150 to 200 square feet. So what I did before I started was I measured all of these um, and I got basically the area that I'm going to be painting and I converted the, in the square inches to square feet and then I figured out how much of the preserver I was going to need based on the area I was going to cover because there's no need to mix up an entire gallon when I'm only going to need less than a quart. So in particular I calculated that I needed roughly 25 tablespoons which meant that according to the instructions I needed to put in a half <clears throat> or actually uh, six tenths of a teaspoon of the powder in order to mix up 25 uh, tablespoons of the um, of the wood preserver. Right, so I'm just going to use <coughs> a cloth because it just leaves a usually leaves a fairly streak-free thing, and I've got these trays just so that I can put all the wood on to dry, <coughs> so that I'm not putting it straight on the floor. So I'm going to get started and I think I'm going to go, uh, I'll just start with this. Again, all I want to paint, uh, all I want to cover is the outside. You don't want to do anything to the inside of your beehive because any of that might negatively affect your bees. Now this is supposed to be bee safe. But the reality is that the inside of the beehive is not going to be subjected to wind and rain and sun. Uh, only the outside is, so that's all we actually need to do. So I'm just going to give this a go and see how, how it goes.
There you go. Looks like I'm done. Um, at least for now. You can see how it goes at this silver gray color. That's the that's the um, wood preserver working. Um, it has that sort of antique aged look. Um, I think I've still got a lot left. So I think I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to do another coat, especially on those ones over there. They don't look very, um, they look like I didn't put enough on and those and this one's working okay. It's actually quite gray now, but I might come and do, I might do a, a, a coat over it all again. We'll see. Still got plenty preserve left, so that's all for now. Let's let this dry. Now that my boards are treated with the, the uh, preservative, uh, the wood preserve, I'm going to put the start putting the hive together. The first step is putting the boxes together. The um, the brood box and the honey super and then um, once I've done that then I'm going to start assembling the frames that go inside. Uh, the first part is like I said assembling the brood chamber and I'm going to do that with these big pieces. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to put them together like this and then I'm actually going to drill holes uh, and um, nail, put nails in so that uh, these don't come apart very easily. The nails are optional. I am gonna glue them anyway, but I did want to just add that extra bit of, um, uh, I just wanted that extra strength in here so that it'll help the hive last a very long time. Now that I've done the boxes, now I need to do the frames. This is where the bees will build their honeycomb and uh, the brooding cells. Now that I have uh, 
some brooding found um, frames and some honey frames. Let's put it all together. There you go, ready for, for my bees when they arrive in the next couple of weeks. I'll take this guy outside tomorrow and set it up and we'll be good to go.